In the early days of television, advertising worked a little differently. Commercials were often built right into the show, with hosts throwing to an ad or even reading ads themselves. Try post alphabets, folks, and enjoy them as a snack time treat. They're A, B, C, D, delicious. And unlike the maddening assortment of products advertised on TV today, most of the early ads were just for a few everyday products. Coffee, soap, toothpaste, and cigarettes. Lots and lots and lots of cigarettes. But sometimes, when the show wasn't sponsored by a cigarette brand, they needed a placeholder. And for that, there was Morley. Morley is the most popular brand of cigarette that never actually existed. It's shown up in dozens of movies and TV shows. Everything from Orange is the New Black to comedy classic Freddy Got Fingered. The first known appearance of the brand comes at the end of the 1960 movie Psycho where a psychologist played by Simon Oakland lights up after explaining that, spoiler alert, Norman Bates is a psycho. These were crimes of passion, not profit. Here's what looks like a pack of Morley's in the Dick Van Dyke show. Although this time the cigarettes were made of chocolate. <laughs> and here the fake packaging is used to make a statement. The brand made at least three appearances in the Twilight Zone. What's the difference where I sit? It's not the seat, it's the airplane. Don't smoke that now, wait till the plane takes off. Over the next two decades, the brand mostly disappeared from pop culture. But then, in the 90s, Morley cigarettes made a big comeback. After an apparent rebranding, the cigarette became the brand of choice for the Smoking Man character in The X-Files. The series even decided to give the company a storyline and a juicy scandal. If he were alive as of 26 minutes ago, he'd be giving testimony against his former employer before a federal grand jury. Testimony concerning what? Not even his wife or his lawyer know the specifics, only that it concerns research that he was involved in. Potentially extremely damaging to Morley. In November of 1998, about a year and a half before this episode aired, the four largest U.S. tobacco companies entered what was called the Tobacco Master Settlement Agreement. The settlement proposal is a historic step forward that requires the most sweeping changes in business practices ever imposed on an industry. Essentially, 46 U.S. states with ongoing lawsuits against big tobacco agreed to settle their cases if the industry agreed to a broad range of new rules and restrictions. One of these rules stated that no film or television production could be paid to include a specific brand of cigarettes. Movies and TV shows could still include real brands on screen, like in Mad Men, for instance. They just couldn't be paid for it. And without the financial incentive of using real brands, the new and improved Morley was primed to explode. A pack of Morley red. The red and white packs started to appear in a huge number of popular shows, like Malcolm in the Middle, Burn Notice, and The Walking Dead. Some shows even paid homage to the brand's X-Files roots, like this Lost episode. That's a magazine ad for Morley cigarettes with the slogan, the truth is out there. Even though you can't buy Morley's in the real world, and even though almost all of these actors are actually smoking herbal cigarettes, the brand's ubiquity is undeniable. And with sales consistently through the roof, it was only a matter of time before Morley branched out into new product lines. Oh look, menthols. 